Hello friends, welcome to our channel CADCAM Solution Merit and today we are going to create this model and this is a solid model and we have some views uh, this is my bottom view uh, from the bottom we can see this is the bottom view this is the front view okay if we will rotate this that time or according to this view this is the top view and this front and this is sectional view from BB if you will cut this part from the center from the center this geometry will show <coughs> and one more view is there uh, which is the auxiliary view okay, you can see this is the view auxiliary view uh, from this side from a side this is the view for the proper dimension of this hole we can use this view and here we have one section CC C is a section which is from this direction okay we are looking from this direction this view we can see so I will start from the uh, this top view or we can say bottom view so this is my top view according to this all orthography so I will start from this top view and I am going to create one two and one more three three third is 124 diameter circle so all three circles I am going to create and then we will see <coughs> Okay, this is the 3D model. Is see, this is the top view as per the drawing. Okay, and front view is this, and auxiliary view is this. So we will start from the top or bottom. This view from this view, we will start. So this is my fresh drawing, and I'm starting from this XY plane. And now select circle and one two and three circle this outer circle is 140 diameter change it to 140 and second this diameter is 124 so change it to 124 millimeter and the last one which is this hole hole is 90 so this is 90 diameter circle now finish it and i am going to extrude this outer circle at 180 millimeter so enter 180 and apply <coughs> and second circle i am going to cut uh, which is offset at 12 millimeters so enter 12 millimeter then cut it up to 180 and select this substrate then only it will cut see and third circle is this which is from the bottom and okay see okay uh, now uh, rotate it like this so we can cut this uh, select sketch and click this orient the view Flip the plane and okay. So draw a line now. Dimension it, uh, use this 70 and same 70 from the middle. And we have to define one angle. See, we have one angle 45 degree so angle is from vertical so angle is 45 and close it is not touching it properly so I am defining this as 180 so it will come at the top of this okay so my first sketch is this and now mm, I have to draw this circle okay so I have created this uh, this dotted line okay we have created this dotted line which is which is at the this dotted line okay so now offset this at 4 degree uh, 4 millimeter so offset 
4 and select this circle we don't need this symmetric and click ok don't convert, okay, convert this into reference and uh, ok and drag this line I am increasing this line okay, dimension this 10 so that it will cut this but uh, here we have some problem okay mm, what is that if we will cut from this line so length this height will reduce so cancel it and and we will start from this line so finish and use this extrude and this is the curve use symmetric and select this open profile and click this will cut now select same plane and orient the view and this time I have to draw a circle and this circle is 30 radius 60 diameter okay and the center of the circle and the vertical axis both will coincident and it is 2 millimeter inside so dimension okay just apply okay cancel it it is not coming so go and select this offset curve and 2 is the offset distance but still it is not selecting this so first we have to project so here we have this project curve and I am projecting this now offset 2 and click and inside ok now this point and line both will constant now my sketch is fully constant and I am just cutting this circle exit and select this extrude click symmetrical value so that it will cut on the both side now we have to create this upper portion same plane same plane we are going to select orient the view and here <clears throat> I'm starting from this point up to this and this is perpendicular and make it close okay so this is my geometry and this is okay we have to offset inside okay later we will do and now then just apply the dimension <coughs> which is from here from center to this line is 60 so click this and the center is this and line is this and this value is 60 and close finish it and now I am extruding this and both side okay reduce this <clears throat> make it none okay or first we can do this move face select this face and dimension is 4 millimeter in minus direction 4 in minus apply and the same I am doing on this face minus 4 on this face ok now drag this after this and double click and I want to unite this with this previous body so see we have 4 millimeter gap now <coughs> same I am 
doing here so again select this plane and orient the view and here I'm starting from this outer line and click and the line is going up to this a little bit inside again inside and matching to this line and make it close now I'm using some geometrical constraint like this perpendicular so all angle will come properly and finish okay now we will dimension it and from the y-axis this line is 70 which is already correct and here we have this dimension we don't have this dimension no problem and 7 this distance is 7 double click and enter this 7 and again this is 15 so this total is 15 click this and change this dimension to 15 okay and we have this upper line this upper line which is 60 from the center so click and the center is to this line is 60 just click ok and ok and what is this delete this delete this now we can change double click and apply 60 ok and click drag this point and what is the distance and this distance is this one this upper distance which is 25 and apply so my sketch is fully constrained close and finish and extrude this sketch in symmetrical direction symmetrical and unite ok and see uh, there is a step so after uniting I am going to replace this space to this face and okay now uh, I am again using the extrude command and I am extruding this select subtract and two sided offset and preview okay it will cut all the geometry which is outside the circle now if you want to hide hide all the sketches most of the portion we have already drawn now we have to apply some hole so select this hole and select this face use this line and click now dimension using this angular angle is 60 degree from vertical so changes to 60 and this distance is 120 half of 120 is 60 okay 60 and close and finish double click and change this hole to threaded hole and m8 is the size and the rest is okay no need to change tip angle so zero and depth and apply okay 
this is coming like this so we have to apply this fillet of 2 mm before this hole okay and now pattern it so we have pattern this is my hole vector is this four instance and apply okay okay uh, we have to apply some fillet on more edges so two millimeter fillet here 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 and here and here and this and again this inside and apply here here and here we have already applied so uh, now only two holes are remaining so I am going to select this face and orient the view because I am going to create some point and using this point first and then second point I two point the distance between both of these is 50 and first make them word horizontally align sorry select both the point and make them horizontally align and this distance is 25 half of 50 is 25 and here it is 60 minus 72.5 is 12.5 so this gap is 12.5 and close and the same we have here okay same we have here so we just go to this face and select orient the view okay and draw to point Gently align 25 again 25 and dimension now apply dimension reset this to 12.5 close finish now select this hole this is simple hole so we have to assign two simple hole here and two chamfered hole here so counter bores two down counter bore is there one and two and the dimension are 16 is a counter dia and 10.5 is a main diameter 16 and 10.5 and apply So this is a, our model.